Good morning, Twitch. Welcome back. That's right. It's another. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to change the stream information. Stand by. CXV. So this should be CXXIX. There we go. Update that. My bad. Got up a bit late this morning. Whoa, slept, I slept in all the way to 7. I don't normally do that. I needed the rest, though. Definitely a tough week for me. So, go ahead and wait till everybody shows up. Um, as a side note, well, I'll wait to tell all y'all that uh, until people show up. What would the point be of doing that thing sooner? Anywho. I'll just get started with Bash, because that's what we're doing today, today's push back. Oh, it is so nice in here today, y'all. We're finally reaching the point where South Carolina is tolerable in terms of temperature. I'll turn the fan to medium speed, maybe so it'll be a little bit quieter today. Um, and then as far as noise quality is concerned. I'm aware of the issue. Uh, I will probably end up going to Staples or Belk or something like that today and picking up a microphone uh, to fix the problem. What it is, is that due to the nature of this garage, uh, it's naturally echoey in here and there's nothing I can do about that right this very second. Um, I reviewed the VOD last night. It seems to me like if you're on uh, headphones, the quality is a little bit worse than if uh, you are on speaker. But that was just my impression. Uh, I sound clear. The trouble is that, yeah, it's a little bit tin canny or echoey. Uh, and I definitely can appreciate that that's quite irritating uh, from a viewer perspective. So I promise you guys that will get better in the days to come. But thank you uh, to everyone. Hey, what's up, LT? Always good to see you. Um, but I do want to say thank you to everyone who pointed the issue out because that's how I know that there's an issue. You know, I, I can't listen to myself real time, right? If I did, then <laughs> it'd get very echoey very quickly. So the surprise today, for those of you that can, that are here, I'll, I'll wait for a few more people to uh, shuffle in and then we'll get started on that. We'll warm up. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, good day today, y'all. I can just feel it. Today actually is really nice. This is, I believe, the first workout of the year. Uh, I've had in my garage where the ambient temperature outside is below 60 degrees. It is I think 58 right now, and it just feels it's like it's like different worlds in here. It is so much better. It's really nice. Um, in addition, I'm going to bet that while the sound quality still isn't perfect, it's better today on the basis that over there, uh, my roommate. Her car is taking up quite a lot of volume, and as a result, reducing the amount of echo that can be had in here. I think once I add a little bit of insulation, uh, that is going to get a lot better. So don't stress on that one today. It's going to get better. All right, we're already up to six people. So today we have a little bit of a goal. Today, we also have the opportunity for you guys to win a special reward. And because it's only 58 degrees out, um, well, I'll certainly be a bit cold doing it. Uh, but if y'all, I remember a little while back, I did a, uh, I did a, uh, at, at the end of my workout, I did a stream of me washing a car. Uh, everybody really seemed to like it. So if we hit 30 new followers today, I will go and wash my car. I will, well, I'll be washing the roommate's car because it got covered in ash. I don't know how the hell that happened, but um, do her a solid. 
wash the roommate's car, and uh, yeah, y'all y'all get to enjoy that. I'll do a shirtless. I mean, because presumably, if we hit 30 new followers, I'm probably going to uh, have enough viewers to go shirtless, which of course is, oh, we already have a gifted sub. I'm on 275. I'm feeling strong today, y'all. I'm feeling strong. Feeling good. Feeling right. Uh, I probably got more sleep last night than I had in a while. Because normally I have to get up at between 5 and 5.30 for my job. So this is two, 125, 215, 265, 275. Hey, all right, LT. Thank you very much for thank you very much for the gift. Morning PSI, morning villainous metal machine. You guys are awesome. Uh, so that is uh, one sub. So we're now down to 14 viewers and uh, the shirt comes off. Oh. oh yeah, oh. But yes, yeah, so the goal today is to get some followers. So this is if ever there were a time for you to tell your friends, all they have to do is click that follow button. Uh, we get 30 new followers today. I will do a shirtless uh, car wash stream after, uh, after we're done here. But right now, we have 275 pounds to bench. LT trying to take my gifted sub record. Uh, PSI, I will say, uh, CSY1980, I believe, has that record for this channel. But, uh, you guys spoil me. You all are wonderful. It is somewhat cold in here, so at least relative to most workouts, so we'll, we'll see. All right, here we go, 275. Six reps. Usually don't get six. Ooh, coming for you. Oh, all right, all right. Level of competition, a little friendly competition in the morning. That's good. That's good. That's always good. It says bring it. Love to see it. Love to see it. But yeah, today the goal is to get some followers. So I've knocked down eight ounces of milk beforehand. Just have to record that. Is 916. We'll start with three sets at 275 and then we'll go from there. If you don't mind the conversation, Aggie, I love the conversation. No, that's what makes this stream so enjoyable. Uh, absolutely, ask me anything. Um, yes, I am a mechanical engineer. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer and I work in. Uh, the nuclear industry. Uh, so let's see here, three, 275, and then we did, let's see, when did I go to bed last night? Went to bed about 1025, got up at seven, so that would be about eight and a half hours, but I spent half an hour up using the bathroom and everything else, so I'm gonna give myself eight flat. Better sleep than normal. But yes, I am an engineer. Yeah, y'all can see me pretty well from there. This is a pretty good angle. Network engineer, now I'm a data engineer. Yeah, PSI, that's a great career. Uh, your, your skills are very, very sought after in this market. Uh, I'm sure you're doing quite well for yourself. So good for you and congratulations, PSI. I'm sure. I'm sure you're doing quite well. I know anything related to computer science, computer engineering, data engineering, data analytics, uh, all of that stuff is a red hot market. I know this because my brother is a computer engineering 
for computer science. A uh, guy was previously doing data analytics for the Home Depot, uh, but he quit and he is actually going over to Thailand to uh, uh, do Muay Thai for a while. Uh, it's like a kind of a sabbatical for him and also to get his master's degree from Georgia Tech, which is a really, really good school. Um, I hate saying it, but it's a better, it's a better academic school than Texas A&M, of course. Uh, you know, that, that stings to the core, <laughs> pun intended there, that I, I have to admit it though. It, Georgia Tech is probably the best school in the South in terms of education. I don't think it can be matched, at least on an engineering and uh, science level, by any other school uh, below Mason-Dixon. At least I certainly can't think of any. Georgia Tech is a really good engineering school. Don't get me wrong, A&M is too, uh, but th there's levels to this, and Georgia Tech is, we're talking top 10, you know, Georgia Tech is, when it comes to engineering, they're with the Ivies, you know, Stanford. I think the other ones would be Michigan. Michigan's got a really good engineering program. Purdue um, and Caltech, I think it is. I always forget if it's Caltech or Cal Poly, but it's one of those two. Cal the California University system is like Porsche's naming convention for their cars. It is an utter and complete mystery. I don't understand how it works. One, two, three. set at 275. I went to a community college and I make more than both my brothers who went to nice schools in Colorado. It's all about hard work and dedication. Yeah, it's also about networking. A lot of engineers are not particularly social butterflies and sometimes that is to their detriment. It is absolutely about hard work and, and dedication though. You're, you're right, PSI. Um, Uh, I know, speaking of good engineering schools, Colorado School of Mines is supposed to be really good. I've, I've heard of them. They're usually pretty high up when it comes to that sort of thing. Uh, someone, uh, m someone noticed my topless, my topless screen uh, and said, oh, so when I do this, I get an NSFW tag, huh? And I'm like, yep. Your girl, it's the uh, double standard. We get the we males get the long end of the stick on this one. Whew. All right, it's a very long stick. Uh, never change. Yeah, no, networking is a huge, huge important thing. And I'm not saying, um, you know, there is a world of difference, but if you have a degree, no, I don't blame you. Uh, if you have a degree from a place like Georgia Tech, uh, you know, or Stanford, you are going to get looked at by the top of the top companies. I mean, Stanford's right at the heart of Silicon Valley. Um, and there's a reason there are so many Stanford grads uh, high up in those FANG companies or in a lot of the new tech startups. It's just the culture out there, and it's the quality of the education that is received, uh, just as an example. It's the, same, it's the same reason you see so many Purdue and Michigan grads in the automotive industry doing the cutting edge tech there. Although I will say, uh, GM, to their credit, has started uh, hiring at Texas A&M ever since they uh, funded us with the formula program and we won it all, they decided, huh, you know, maybe these Aggies got some decent mechanical engineers after all. No, it's it's not like M stands for mechanics or anything. I'm playing. <sighs> Actually, I'm not. It really used to stand for, uh, you know, it used to be Texas AMC, which is Agricultural and Mechanical College. Uh, then it became AMU, uh, and officially they dropped the definitions for A and M. But let's face it. 
what is Texas A&M known most for academically? Engineering, particularly mechanical engineering, and agriculture. So, you know, it would follow that the, the A&M still does kind of mean something from an educational perspective. Uh, even the diehard Longhorns fans will admit our, edu our engineering school is quite good uh, and that our ag school is top notch. I mean, we know what we're doing there. There's three things A&M really does well, I think, from an educational perspective. It's military education, uh, include, just ask any of the three letter agencies about that one. Um, engineering education and agricultural education. Our liberal arts, business schools, uh, law schools weren't bad. They've certainly come a long way, but they're not, I think, as respected academically as ag, engineering, and uh, military sciences. Well, another, I'll tell you, another uh, SEC school that actually has, is surprisingly uh, underrated. I don't think most people think of them as an excellent engineering school. And it surprised me to learn that Florida, the University of Florida, has a really good engineering program. I kind of thought of Florida, of Florida as a party school, and it turns out that's more Florida State. Um, but the Gators actually have a really good, they have a really good program. I did not know that for the longest time. So, chomp on. Well done, Gator engineers. One, two, one, two, three. <gasps> sets of five, and I'm going slow this morning. Hey, yeah, what's up, Warp? Good to see you. <laughs> Always love seeing my main Gators fan, Warp. But yeah, I did not know that for a really long time. I kind of assumed, you know, I, I assumed there were kind of like uh, Ole Miss or Alabama or any of the other, you know, solid state schools. But you know, when you look at the academic ratings, Florida is substantially better uh, in the engineering uh, department than. Alabama or Ole Miss or Georgia. Although to be fair to Georgia, their engineering program is extremely new. It's already getting a lot better. Um, but for the longest time, you know, there was no liberal arts program at Georgia Tech or business program at Georgia Tech. And similarly, there was no engineering program at Georgia. And that's just how the state did it. So, but I know several engineers that were part of the first few classes of uh, engineering at UGA and they're quite good at their job so I have nothing negative to say about them but uh, yeah no I didn't I really didn't understand that uh, UF had a, a good engineering school until recently but they do they absolutely do so to reiterate today's a little special challenge uh, 14 of y'all and the shirt comes off 30 new followers, okay? 30 new followers, I will go shirtless and wash the car. So, again, if there are ever a time to get your friends just to click one button, that's all it takes, five seconds, click a button. They don't even gotta stick around. I mean, I would really like them to, but if they do that, especially if we get 14, they're certainly gonna get a view. <laughs> a little shirtless car wash. I'm gonna eventually, oh, by the way, um, we have Mubot now in chat, so if you guys want to like, if you type in exclamation point discord, you'll see we have that. Um, I'm going to add more commands, oh, excuse me, I think what I'm going to do is try and have a command to where uh, we can play the Rocky music, like an 8-bit, you know, non-copyrighted version of the Rocky music while I knock down egg whites, um, or something like that with pour some sugar on me while I'm doing car washes, or, you know, fun stuff like that, you know? But yeah, you know, you, UF's got a really good engineering school. And I, for the longest time, did not know that. So I think they don't talk about it as much, maybe, as they should. I mean, Florida, people know Florida, honestly, I think above all else, for football and for baseball, which would make sense. It's Florida. That's it's a really good athletic program, too. I do think Anthony Richardson's the guy, though. And I think Billy Napier's the, the guy as well. I think Florida fans need to be very careful to remember that, yeah, you guys did beat Utah, but this is still a first-year head coach who has only one recruiting class and is going to make mistakes. 
You know, he came from Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns, which is a great school and a pretty good football program actually uh, nowadays, mostly because of what Napier did. But he's still a very young head coach and he's gonna make mistakes. Um, certainly doing better than Jimbo right now, so there is that. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to the Miami game, y'all. Honestly, I think we're gonna get, uh, I could see a scenario in which we start this year one and four and uh, that's gonna look really bad, uh, to put it mildly, because after Miami, we play Arkansas and then Alabama. Talk about a death schedule. Now, App State, as good as they are, and they are good, uh, was supposed to sort of be the second tune-up game, uh, and clearly we did not pass the tune-up. Uh, all right, 265, and then I think we're gonna go down to 225. I'm aware of the audio quality. There she is, my constant state of being. I work hard to tame it. <laughs> That's funny. I hope so. I think Billy needs to take the CEO role and follow Saban's system. I don't think Billy has the ability to do that. I think that's up to what the Florida boosters are willing to trust him with. Uh, I personally think it would be wise for the boosters and the fans to show their support of Billy, even through mistakes. You know, yeah, y'all lost to Kentucky last week, but it was a close game, and Kentucky's a really good team this year. Uh, I think it would be very foolhardy to rampantly criticize Napier for losing with one recruiting class to a very good Kentucky team. I think that's an overreaction. I think that's not a good idea for the fan base. Oh, you are absolutely right. The shirt should be off now. And thank you for telling me, LT, because I can't see how many viewers are from here until I check my phone. Yep, shirt's off. Ooh, it's cold in here. Go ahead, nipping today. Carol, yep, uh, body, yes. So it actually did a progress, official progress update with progress picks. If y'all want to see the progress picks, I'm gonna probably put them in the Discord. Somebody just asked me about that in Discord. Um, 208.8 .8 pounds, uh, so I've officially lost more than 20 now since the beginning of my cut cycle and 14.45% body fat, which means as of right now, I need about 18,000 calories of deficit uh, to get to the magic 12% number. So working that out in a moment, right? If we're at mid-September, that means we have about eight weeks to get there, which means 18,000 over eight means we need to burn slightly over 2,000 calories a week in deficit to get to where we wanna be. So in other words, I'm on about the right track. Um, you know, 2,000, that's probably, you know, be conservative, 20, let's say 2,500 uh, calories in a week. Divide that by seven, that's about a 350 calorie deficit every single day. I see no reason I can't do that. Um, so I think, I think we're gonna see some progress. Yeah, 225, I do, okay. Fifth set, let's go. If you put all your workouts in spreadsheet asking for a data engineer friend, no sir, I am much more low tech than that. I am much more low tech than that. So yeah, y'all, uh, tell your friends uh, to follow today because if we get 30 new followers, I will do a shirtless car wash stream. Um, so, you know, cue the Jack Leopard if y'all uh, want to pour some sugar on me and whatnot. All right, let's hit this. Um, in addition, we now have MooBot, so. Oh, and by the way, uh, you know, the 1,000 follower goal by the end of the year is still very much in play. If we hit that, uh, you guys are gonna see um, a truth or drink stream where you guys can ask me anything and uh, I either have to tell the truth or I drink. So it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. One, two, three, oh, six. Last seven inch. 
Tub stream. I don't have a way to do a hot tub stream. <laughs> Not yet. I do a bathtub stream, but I don't know. Whew. All right. All right, so that's one, 10, 225, drop set. One, it's 12 at 125. So we are gonna take just a breather and then Oh come on, it's King of the Hill reference. Fucking CFB ball switch or CFB ball discord being dirty minded this morning. God damn. Um Let's head on back up to 215, and then we'll do close This is good old try action. We'll do tries, and then probably move to uh, incline. Now, I can't do a hot tub stream, but uh, y'all, again, if y'all like this, tell your friends, 30 new followers will wash the car today. So, uh, clock is on on that one. Y'all gotta get it by the end of the workout. Thankfully for you guys, I'm going rather slowly this morning, so there's no reason you shouldn't be able to do it. I mean, I have faith in y'all. 30, 30 new followers is steep, but I feel like y'all can do it. Here we go. Probably do five or six reps here and then go down late. One, two, one, two, three, go. Oh yeah. strongest today. Definitely don't quite feel it. We'll go down to one, I think 195. Thank you. 
What's up, Tay Bun 16? Welcome. Ain't seen uh, you before. Hey, PSI. Let's go. Thank you very much for the subs. Give y'all some clap push ups after this, then. So we do close grip. And we get started on that. And roll at 195. And then set the curling bar up. That's another upgrade, probably coming. Gonna be uh, dumbbells. I'm gonna probably just go with some spin locks for now, just because I've already got the one inch plates. So it just seems like the logical way to do it. But welcome, everybody. Uh, remember, 30 new followers. So I was at 279 before the stream. If I am at 309, uh, by the end of the workout, uh, you guys are getting a, you guys can watch my wash the car uh, shirtless. So. And for those of you, uh, someone rather astutely mentioned that uh, why is it NSFW when women do it, but not NSFW when men do it? Great question. Uh, it's a quote King of the Hill. It's called the double standard. Don't knock it. We got the long end of the stick on this one. For those of you that are guys, and or cultured and or Texans, you'll get the reference. Oh. But yes, it's absolutely a double standard. Free the titties. I think it's the appropriate response to that. One, two, one, two, three. Oh. Work soon so you get your chance. <sighs> nah, you didn't miss jumping jacks. That'll come later. Yeah. Although I could probably jump rope. Actually, I'd love to hear which you guys prefer more jumping rope or jumping jacks. If y'all have any questions, uh, always feel free to ask that. Advice is always free. One of the things I like to do, of course, I know some of y'all are here for the meat show, but I really love giving people good advice on how to improve, how to live well, how to diet well. Hey, a first time chat. Oh, it's from fucking Moobot. <laughs> yeah. Um, Need to see both in slow motion to decide. Need slow motion in the Discord. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm not quite sure how to make that happen. I'll fill around with OBS to see if maybe I can find a way to do that. I don't know. All right, that was seven reps at 195. That felt pretty good. I think I'm gonna do another set of that and I go down to 175 for my final uh, close grip. I think that's probably the plan there. How are y'all doing today? It's a Friday morning. It's a great day to enjoy life. Um, obviously, you know, being that I work four tens, today is the beginning of my weekend. How's 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 y'all's lives? I, this is the most fun part of my day, honestly. I love chatting. I love hanging out with y'all. I love I love the atmosphere. It's just it just I don't know, it feels like I'm hanging out with my friends while I'm doing this, and I just really dig the vibe. All right, come on. Chill.
four. All right, here we go. Hey, all right, that's the first one. TV DW 91. All right, that's 280. 29 more, y'all. 29 more. And we will get, uh, y'all will get a free car wash, so. Thank you very much for the follow. Tell all your friends because 30 followers today, y'all get a special award. Get me curious now. Yeah, well, uh, I'll tell you. I mean, I'm not hiding this as a surprise. It's, I was gonna wash the car topless. We get 30 new followers today. So, uh, you know, play your cheesy 80s hair metal. Dude, I know, everyone's loving these shorts. Um, a good long time supporter of the channel. Uh, recommended them to me and you know, he's been supporting me for so long and made a lot of really good suggestions to improve the channel uh, so I took him up on it they're uh, honestly a touch more revealing than I maybe would have hoped but I'm not gonna return them they're unbelievably comfortable so why not you know look you see what you want to see if you focus on the lifts I'm doing, you're not gonna notice the meat show as much, but I don't care, again. I, I'm just happy to have an audience uh, that you know is happy, and wants to talk, and wants to share secrets of success, positive stories, or asks for advice or help. So, you know, it doesn't bother me. It really, it really doesn't. It's a completely natural urge anyway that you guys would be satisfying somewhere else. So, why should I care? You know? Why why should it bother me? And I know the answer to that. It shouldn't. Alright. Uh, I believe this is the last oh. I forgot to take the weight off. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to go down to 170 back for this. I think the sound quality should be slightly better this morning. I know it's not great. Um, I will fix that in the short term. Oh, uh, as an aside, uh, just for those of y'all who are my regular fans, uh, I will not be live tomorrow uh, at my normal time of eight in the morning because my roommate got us both tickets to the South Carolina Georgia game. And as a result, uh, that game starts at noon. Uh, so getting to Columbia and tailgating uh, is gonna be you know, the plan for that morning. Uh, so, obviously, you know, I'm kind of bummed out by that, but it is what it is. Uh, but what that means is we'll do our poll day stream come Sunday. Um, don't, don't stress too much about it. It'll be all right. One, two, one, two, three. Well, I do apologize for that. Sorry, all, there's nothing I can do. Feel free to find me down, you know, message me in Discord, we can meet up. You're for big lifts and a handsome mustache face. Aw, I'll take that. All right, so we'll do a few more shoulder raises, then we'll move to incline. 
I'm in Denver. Hey, Rocky Mountain. Hi, man. Colorado is so pretty. Very dry, though. I know y'all are having uh, water problems. Much of the American West is. It's, uh, it's kind of a pity. I know there's some people in Utah, Nevada, and California have been talking about creating a canal or uh, an aqueduct to run from either the Miss Mississippi or the Missouri River all the way across the country to uh, Lake Powell or Lake Mead. Uh, I don't think that is going to be a cheaper solution than desalination, especially if California would just, you know, quit whining and embrace nuclear energy. But that remains to be seen. I think it could be done. I just don't think it's the best option. Monsoon season. Oh my goodness. Well, that's good though. Um, I didn't realize monsoon uh, was what y'all got in Colorado. I thought it was just sort of a step climate, but that's good though. I know uh, the western half of the United States has just been bone dry, uh, with the exception of uh, with the exception of Washington State last winter, which got an atmospheric river, I believe is what the weather term was for it. Uh, so, you know, y'all need it. And I care a lot, as much as I love to dunk on California, and boy, howdy, do I ever. Uh, the one part of the state of California I've always had a ton of respect for is the Central Valley, because that's where all the great, delicious produce of this country is made. And they are in trouble when it comes to water, y'all. They are in major trouble. Which, you know, if the San Joaquin continues to dry up, the Central Valley continues to dry up, that is going to be a huge loss to our nation's ability to grow enough produce to feed itself uh, and the world. So I wish California were managed better. I'll certainly put it that way. I don't think Governor Newsom's the man for the job. Uh, based on everything I've seen, he's not taking the climate crisis very seriously. He's still appealing to the anti-nuclear greens who are, um, in a word, stupid, I think, genuinely, idiotic. Um, they're either, they've either got evil motives, you know, being paid off by the oil and gas companies, fossil fuel, uh, to demonize nuclear energy, or um, they're just idiots, I'll be, I'll be blunt. I have a very low opinion of the, the hippie grade greens in California. I have no problem with environmentalists. And I have no problem with environmentalism. In fact, I think as a country we need more of it and we need to learn how to consume less. But some of the people in California are fucking idiots, man. I mean, they are helping shoot the state's economy in the foot for no real appreciable environmental gain because we learned this from San Onofre, and I guess they're going to have to learn it a second time with Diablo Canyon. You cannot replace 100% of baseload nuclear electricity with solar and wind. There isn't enough resources to do it, 
And besides, even if you wanted to, why wouldn't you be replacing gas and coal first before you retire the nuclear plant that you've already built? It makes no sense to me. And then on top of that, California wants to go all electric for cars by 2035, which means there will be an increase in electric demand, of course. I, I just don't understand who the hell in their right mind thinks running the state the way it is currently run is a good idea. It's not. California's a goddamn basket case. Anyway. solar panels I did my part good for you PSI uh, I've been thinking about adding them to my roof my roof is 12 13 years old so I may wait till I get a new roof I like the idea of a metal roof solar on that but here in South Carolina I know everybody loves to give South Carolina crap for being a backwater Hicks state but and that is very true I mean quite frankly the number of Confederate flags flown in this town alone is uh, shocking, but uh, credit where it's due, South Carolina gets the lion's share of its electricity from nuclear and hydro. So our electric grid in this state is actually quite clean. Well, at least very low carbon relative to a lot of other states. Um, no, I, I really don't see good reason, you know, to stay away from nuclear energy. Obviously, the uh, initial capital costs are very high, but there are ways to tame that. Uh, deregulation will be a part of it. All right, CLT. Just like the my electric bills now, 20 a month, people really do sleep on the value proposition of solar, and every year it gets cheaper. Now, here's an interesting stat. Colorado, especially at high elevation, uh, does get quite a lot colder than here in South Carolina, but it is a much more superior place for solar. People don't understand that warm temperatures don't really matter as much uh, as sunny weather for solar. And as a result, it's a lot cloudier here in South Carolina than it is in Colorado. Colorado is very sunny, and because it's at high elevation, uh, you get more solar radiation exposure. Uh, which is why, for instance, I think the best, they said the best place to put solar energy in the country would be El Paso because it's very warm, very sunny, but also at elevation. Um, and the higher up you go, typically, uh, the better solar does. So, absolutely. If you live in a place like Denver, solar is 100% the way to go. It just makes sense there. It's the most economical. Um, the same applies in California or increasingly in Hawaii, where, yeah, you may be at lower elevation unless you're, you know, on the big island, but electricity costs are so high there that solar pays itself off very rapidly. As, an, as, a, contra, uh, as a comparison to that contrast, Washington State, solar panels don't make sense because Washington State gets the vast majority of its energy from hydroelectric dams. And as a result, electricity prices in Washington State are extraordinarily low. So it would take a lot longer to pay it off. And then on top of that, Washington State is um, almost infamously gray and cloudy for a large chunk of the year. So clearly, that would not be the move. So solar very much makes sense, especially rooftop solar, depending on where you live. Los Angeles, absolutely. Denver, totally. Albuquerque, hell yeah. Cleveland, maybe not so much, you know?
have our second set of incline. And we've got two sets of shoulder raises, I think. Yeah. The solar is increasingly, oh my god, 28 viewers? Okay, congratulations, y'all. Uh, you guys just earned yourselves handstand push-ups as well. And, of course, the standard egg white chaser and everything else. Remember, 30 new followers, y'all, 30 new followers, and I will do a shirtless car wash stream. So uh, click that follow button if you are new. It will be worth it. I know how many we started with. We started with 279 today. So if we're at 309, by the end of the workout, you guys know it's coming. One, two, three. Huh. over and mark down incline press. We do four reps at that was maybe three. No, I did two sets of that. That was 205 to 175. So we got two more sets of that. I did six to we'll see how many we do there. And this is 185, not 175. Yeah, no, for those of you who are new or perhaps lurking, you have a very powerful incentive today. Incline is great, you can't feel it in piece. There we go. Now they're coming in. FedEx Ninja. Thank you very much, my man. You guys are making it happen. And uh, one other thing. If we hit 1,000 followers before the end of this year, I will play a game of truth or drink. That is. You guys can ask me any question, interrogate the shit out of me, and I will either tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth, or I'm going to take a drink. So you can uh, let your minds go wild on that one. I feel like that'll be a really fun stream. And I think we can get there. I did the math on this, so we're at 279 followers now. I reckon we'll probably lose a handful as the months go on. I reckon we need probably 750 new ones. So we've got, in this year we have about 14 15 weeks left so that means we need to be averaging about 50 new followers a week i know that's very steep but the larger this channel grows the more people we can have recruiting you know go you know spread the word on social media i don't have a TikTok. i can't because i work in the nuclear industry and i don't trust the chinese um i, I don't have a facebook i don't have a twitter and i refuse to get one uh, i've thought about an instagram that would probably be the farthest i go but i don't really know what i would post on it so, you know, if y'all want to help expose me to all those new audience, it's a gold mine sitting right there. And of course, if people reference you when they come in and follow, say, hey, this person uh, uh, referred me to you, or this person recruited me, uh, you will get your, you will get rewards. I do, I do uh, private stream sessions, and typically those are, you know, donations, or if you are a uh, big time recruiter, you'll usually get those rewards as well. So. There are incentives, okay? Making that very clear. Let's go, set number three on the incline. One, two, three, hook. Right, that's eight. I believe we've done three sets of shoulder raises. So this will be the fourth one. Yeah. No, I like incline a lot. Wow, 23 viewers. It's getting better and better as the weeks go on. And I have nobody to thank but y'all for that. So I am truly grateful. And again, this is where I know some of y'all are here for the meat show. Happy to deliver on that. But a large portion of what I want to do here, look at this way, is hey, all right. Let's go, Zoe Mallory, 26, welcome. Uh, the large portion of what I'm trying to do here is encourage this to become a very good community, okay? What you see here is 14 years of effort, 14 years of mistakes, 14 years of successes. And as a result of that, I've gained a little bit of wisdom on how to grow your body in such a manner to look shredded, for lack of a better term. So. With that in mind, 
ask me things. Advice is always free, always and forever will be. I love answering those questions for people who are trying to motivate themselves. I want this to be a motivational stream as well. I want all of you who are watching to go out and be the best version of yourselves that you can be. And that doesn't have to just be physical. It can be whatever goal or task you have in mind. That's, that's what I want to see, you know? I really do mean that. I want this to become a really wholesome community, as well as, you know, I, again, I don't mind the people here who are just here for the meat show. I get it. So, it's a mix. I actually really like that. To be honest, it helps. That mix keeps me from getting too uh, too self-important, too serious. So, yeah, 14 years is how long I've been lifting. Now, not 100% consistently, but I would say 90% consistently. I've been lifting weights regularly since I was 13 years old in seventh grade, and I started doing it for the football team. Back. Then. Good old Wall, Texas. That's a real name of a real. Hang on. That's a dead mosquito. Sorry about the noise. In South Carolina, they find their way in here. The most aggressive group of fuckers you've ever seen. But, no, I've been living since. 2008. Like when you get serious, you have a deep ball in the I appreciate that. It's important, you know, it's important to say things in an earnest and serious manner when people ask you for advice. Um, but it's also really important to not get, not take yourself too seriously. Because when you do that, you lose a sense of humor and you lose a little of the vibe. Because here's another really important lesson that everyone should know, okay? Mosquitoes are as big as birds these days. Apart from Louisiana, I've never seen them more aggressive than in this state. But here's a really important lesson, okay? Love it or hate it, there will always be someone better than you. Always. Always, always, always. It is a reality of life. There's always going to be someone stronger, faster, more intelligent, you name it. That shouldn't discourage you. It should keep you in mind, I think, the, the way to view that information is that while that is true, you cannot let someone else's chapter 100 define your chapter 1. It's very important to remember that. And there is always going to be someone more shredded than me, someone more motivational than me, someone better at me in every way, shape, and form. That's just life. There are 8 billion of us on this planet it's inevitable. It's a statistical inevitability that you're never going to be the best, uh, especially of all time. Look, if one of us in here is Tom Brady, you know, that's a different story. But be honest with yourself. Are you Tom? Are you the Tom Brady of anything? Probably not. Nor am I. It's okay. It's about accepting that, right? Accept that. Yeah, you could improve, but stay motivated enough to do it. All right, last set of incline, and then we're gonna move to shoulder press. One, two, one, two, three. Damn, I was only eight. Kind of hoping for a knife there. And you play the guitar, right? Personally, I believe the greatest guitarist ever. Um, to me, I think it comes down to two people. The first is Jimi Hendrix, who could not read music and, you know, was arguably the greatest guitarist of all time. If you have that kind of talent, you'll know. But the second best guitarist of all time was the polar opposite of that. It's Frank Zappa. Uh, I believe Frank Zappa was 
not just a brilliant guitarist, but a genuine creative genius. And Frank Zappa, go and look at what his work ethic, what his schedule was. Frank Zappa lived, breathed, and died around music. That's what he did. As a result of that, his work ethic was truly exceptional. People talked about how much he busted ass in the studio, but as a result of that, he came up with some of the most innovative and creative passages of music the world has ever seen. And what we got? Lies, no one is better than me. Two Day is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Two Day, Two Day is pretty, he's pretty great. I, I, will, I will concede that. I'm not sure if you're number one in everything, but you're, you're certainly a very valued member of this community. I'm definitely always thrilled to see you in chat. You always seem to find a way to make me smile and push me harder than I normally would push myself. So you're, you're, you're very good at motivating in that way. No, all of you, that is to say, okay, when you admit that you suck at something or you admit that you could be better at something, that doesn't mean you're the worst person in the world either, okay? We're all somewhere in the middle. Statistically speaking, it is overwhelmingly likely that that is the case. But yeah, there's no shame in not being a Jimi Hendrix. But anyone who works hard enough can be a Frank Zappa. And Frank Zappa, of course, had lots of natural talent. Uh, I'm not denying that. But Frank Zappa worked harder than anyone else in rock and roll than, uh, you know, than I think I've ever seen. Uh, I would say the only I would say the only person who probably put more effort into his his work, his music, than Frank Zappa might be James Brown. Uh, they called him the, yeah, they called him the hardest, <sighs> the hardest working man in showbiz. I've been lurking, waiting for my challenges, but I see some, someone puts it out. Dude, come on now. I have a schedule. I was going to do it this week, but I'm going to be off tomorrow because I don't have a, a real option. I'm going to be at, I'm going to be in Columbia, but, well, maybe I'll do that instead of a full day. All right. See, they cut me some slack, man. I like my I like my workout regimen. I do have to say, you know, it's it's good for me. It's good for what I do. I think 155 today. Harsh, harsh but fair. I'm not going to deny that today has sent me a workout. And I have yet to do it for all you wonderful people. I've seen them. They're uh, they're like H I I T CrossFit workouts. They're very good. I had a run, bros. Have fun, mom. Gone. Great to see you, PSI. Always good to always good to have a friend. You're gonna miss jumping jacks. No, he's not, because PSI did some subs. So before you go, you're getting jumping jacks. That's fair. I ain't gonna deprive you of that. There you go. Always. No. No, 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 you're gonna get them live, PSI. You, you sub, you, you gifted subs, you're gonna get them live. That is more than fair. I always really try to give my audience what they want. All right, let's do some shoulder press. One, two, three. Ouch, fuck. Ah, uh, damn it. Fuck, ow. I got a piece of flaking metal off the bar punctured my skin. That's going to hurt. Well, luckily I've got some vodka on the inside. I can sterilize it. Fuck. That's annoying. One, two, three, four.
Yeah. When it comes to, when it comes to work ethic, you'll never be a Jimi Hendrix. Go take care of yourself. I'm calling for an ambulance. Boy. What? An ambulance? What for? I'm fine, homie. Oh. But yeah, you, you may not ever be a Jimi Hendrix, but you can become a Frank Zappa. Curiously, neither of those two. Why am I? What are you saying? I'm injured. I'm not injured. I'm fine. All right. Uh, shoulder raises. SP. Triceps extensions. How far do we do those? This is 55, 65, over three by 10. My finger. Well, I just got the metal bit out. It'll be fine. I've done far, far worse. Hell, I did worse the other day. I was chopping up some jalapenos for my taco. Um, and I made the rather dumbass decision of scratching my nuts uh, after chopping them up. Boy, howdy, did I feel that. You know what? I'll give you guys a front view this time. I generally prefer to do it the other way because it's easier to rack, but I also know y'all like a front view. Please don't actually call an ambulance. I ain't paying for it. Triceps extensions, so we do 3 by 10, 65 for triceps extensions. So that'll give us, all right, so we're at nine sets of chest. You're at, that'll give us six sets of tries. And then shoulders, four, and that, we have six. Okay, so we're at nine, six, and five right now. All right, we're about two thirds of the way through the workout. Two viewers, I love that though. Oh, another metal splinter. Take that out. Yeah. Another. Another metal splinter. I'm gonna run the ball across this. Try and brush them off. There we go. That should deburr it. Cheap Chinese and a piece of crap bar. I'll probably replace it with an Olymp. A proper Olympic bar next year. Holy Soranacs. They're expensive bars, but boy, they, they really are uh, excellent quality. So remember y'all, 30, uh, 30 new followers today, and y'all will get uh, a shirtless car wash uh, after this, after we're done here. So 
just saying y'all have motivation. Uh, to, you know, tell your friends, click that follower button, and uh, you'll get what you're looking for. One, two, three, four. Shoulders aren't strong today. That's disappointing. I was hoping for more than that. Oh well. That, that is actually rather disappointing. You go for 105 on behind the back press. third set of tricep extensions, at which point we then move this over to skull crush. Yes. All right, we got Shit, 18 people. This is a good view, good stream. Again, y'all don't want them followers. One, two, one, two, three, four. Seven sets of tries now. Nine sets of chest and seven sets of shoulders here. Now we're making slightly more rapid progress, I think, towards completing the workout. a bit out of my head. Give myself a moment. Hmm. Yeah, back down to 13. That sucks. Well, we had a swell of, I think we had 28 people here at one point. That was pretty cool. Usually don't go that far. Um, obviously, you know, happy to see that. But that's okay. It's all about grabbing new followers, y'all. Grow the brand. You know, if y'all Whoever wants to really step up and be a recruiter, the rewards will be great. Y'all get your private streams, uh, private sessions rather, and it's uh, you know, the rewards there. But uh, there are certain social media sites uh, rhyming with, uh, well, not rhyming with the clock, you know, the sound a clock makes. But I'm not going to do because they're Chinese. Okay, today there's actually an ambulance I just heard going by. Are you fucking with me right now? Just heard an ambulance go by. For those of you who don't know, by the way, I have a Discord now. If you'd like to join it, it's right there. It's kind of neat. I also have a bot now for chat. 
So, yeah, we, we got that going on. That's kind of fun. I'll just carry on with the workouts. It's behind the back press. It's going to be three. That'll be the end of shoulders, and then we'll have one set of overhead pulls and three sets of skull crushers after this. Just joined the Discord and contributed. Hey, all right. Thank you, Tavon. Welcome. Um, yeah, the Discord, the Discord, y'all, the primary uh, course for the Discord is for those of you who really want to be fans and be here every time. You know, I throw, uh, there's a ping roll in there. But it's also, the Discord's an even more intimate community where, you know, you guys can talk to me basically at any time of day. I try to make myself pretty available for it. So, uh, you know, it, it, it allows, it allows a certain degree of, you know, access to me when it comes to this stream, you know, ways to improve it, ways to improve yourself. We have an advice channel in there. You can ask anything, and I really, again, I'm trying to build a wholesome, positive community. So, you know, this time, uh, behind the back press. Bot is on lunch break. Is it supposed to bring up a link? Huh, yeah, it was supposed to bring up a link, and then it didn't. I wonder why it didn't. Huh, that came up as an announcement, for me anyway. I can see it. Maybe it only, I need to screw with the perms a little bit. That's strange. It should have shown everyone. Uh, I got nothing on that one. I'll, uh, I'll address it in chat. Uh, or I'll address it after the stream is over. Y'all been pretty good. Well, why do a couple? No, nah, I'm not going to do jumping jacks yet. I'll do them in a moment. In a, in a moment. I'm going to get another set of shoulders in. We're doing pretty well today. Uh, all things considered. <sighs> Try to get combo flowing on Discord. Hope it didn't mess up. No, don't worry about it. It's, it's the vibe in there is supposed to be super chill. Um, obviously, you know, don't be toxic or anything. But it's supposed to be, you know, a place where we can just hang out. It's supposed to be really nice and chill. You know, nice dedicated place for my fans and for people who just want to improve themselves. Oh, hang on. The electric guys are outside. What are they doing here? Are they finally fixing my fucking street light? Man, I called that in in fucking February. That's crazy. Yep, I think that might be it. Good old Dominion Energy, SC, SC and G. 
Yeah, so they're, uh, okay, I'm going to have to really wrap and set this. Uh, yeah, they're going to fix the light and I need to move my car. So, we'll get through this a little bit quicker than normal. Adjust the camera. It's not a good angle. Sorry, guys. Let me fix that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta move the car. I'm sorry. The shirt will come back off. Stand by. Uh, I never actually expected the electric guys to show up. He's one. The other. Uh, removing a, a light that's been on and they were charging me for it. I wanted that charge off my account because I don't need it. I have two LEDs uh, fixed at the edges of my garage that do the job for me. So stand by, y'all. Give me. The shirt is coming back off, I promise. Uh, give me just one minute to bring my car in. Sorry about that, y'all. Ooh, shit. I really got close there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the garage back down. And take the shirt back off. Um, okay, maybe I do not think this 100% uh, of the way through. Crap. Um, Shoot, I cannot do that exercise. Um, we're gonna have to improvise a bit here. Shirt coming back off though. Get the overhead poles done next. Do you have any stories from college game day uh, when they came to College Station? Yes, I do. Uh, I'd love to share it with you. Yeah, I apologize about that, y'all. Was not expecting uh, the electric guys to show up today. Um, clearly, that sort of changes things in terms of what I'm doing here. 
Uh, but yeah, let me let me give you my college game day story uh, after this set. We will finish up, and then we'll head inside. All right, one, two, three. One overhead pull set done. We're done with chest, we're done with shoulders. Uh, I believe we have two sets of triceps to go and we're done. So let's talk about college game day real quick. I went to college game day in September of the year of our Lord 2013 when Johnny Manziel's Aggies uh, and Nick Saban's Alabama Crimson Tide faced off in College Station the year after we upset them. It was one of the best games I've ever watched. Uh, gosh, that was such a crazy night. I spent that night getting 15 minutes of sleep total on Simpson Drill Field. I wouldn't have been, wouldn't be able to do this today to be blunt. Remove the laptop down here so y'all can see me. There we go. This should be good. But yes, I spent 15 minutes that night on Simpson Drill Field asleep. That was all I got. The only food I had from that Friday afternoon, all the way to the end of the football game, was a pack of Twizzlers. That's it. Which is not really food. It's uh, just, you know, prepackaged sugar and oil. Um, so to put it bluntly, you know, then on top of that, it was probably triple digits temperature-wise in uh, Kyle Field that day. It was hot. Very, very hot. Um, I definitely, oh, it was a bit worse for wear after the game, but man, you, I've never heard Kyle get so loud as when Evans threw to me, or Manziel threw to Evans that 95 yard bomb. And we lost that game. That's the best shit part of college football. Absolutely crazy game. There we go. Absolutely insane. Um, we were rocking, we were rolling. That didn't yell, we had 50,000 people show up. And I know right now, uh, Twitter, uh, you know, and r slash CFD just remembered midnight yell was a thing. And of course, rightfully so, are mocking us because we lost to Appalachian State after, uh, you know, mocking them at Midnight Yell. The thing is, I don't think most people understand. Like, those corny jokes, they're what we do for every team. In fact, they're usually repackaged jokes people tell about Aggies. Ask any Texan for a dumb Aggie joke and they'll have one. Because for a long time, uh, really before the 1960s, our academic standing was with the exception of the agricultural program and engineering college, uh, our, engineer, our, agri or, uh, our academic standards were abysmal. They were terrible. Um, you know, A&M was seen as the place you went, you know, to get military service and then uh, become a lieutenant. It was very centered around military culture because remember, you had to be a member of the Corps of Cadets at Texas A&M uh, until 1963, and really, it wasn't until the 70s that we were fully integrated, core membership was truly optional, and that women could join. Um, so as a result of that, you know, a lot of the older traditions, if you go back and look at schools like Virginia Tech, 
schools like uh, the Citadel, you know, any of the schools that are, have very strong ROTC programs, or very strong core cadets programs, a lot of what they did and a lot of what a and continues to do are uh, very similar. The difference is, of course, that because a and did it for so much longer, right, you know, Virginia Tech integrated, I believe, or, well, integrated by gender, I think, in the 50s, and then integrated by race, or no, sorry, integrated by gender in the 20s, and then integrated by race in the 50s. As a result of that, a lot of the traditions that existed back when it was an all-male military college kind of faded away, because we kept on to those through the 60s, and to be honest, they were the identity of the school, not to mention, um, the military education is what saved Texas A&M from getting deleted by the University of Texas uh, and by the state Texas uh, government multiple times, probably I think up to 10 times between the foundation uh, in 1876 and World War I. Uh, in those early days, there was a strong push to uh, just put the ax to Texas A&M uh, or at the time, Texas AMC in general, because it was sort of seen, this is, I hate the little brother comparison because it's not accurate. Texas A&M is the older brother, but we are also, I think, instead of calling us the little brother, it's more accurate that we're the redheaded stepchild because historically, um, we are the university that is maybe had to really fight just to get any sort of help from the state government, whereas, uh, you know, oil money, prestige, resources was lavished on that orange school and all. Shit. Okay, so if I get further down, there we go. Fuck. I'll pick that up. This is the last set, anyhow. Let's push two, three, four. Not a great end of the workout, but it'll have to do. This was an unexpected turn of events. You did not expect the electric guys coming in today. But yeah, uh, in summation, oh yeah, Kentucky A&M was a very good game. But uh, no, the history behind A&M, and there's an old saying by Aggies is, from the outside looking in, you can't understand us. From the inside looking out, we can't explain ourselves. But there is a lot of truth to that because who we are to the core is defined by, you know, uh, old, you know, General Sol Ross, who, and Governor Sol Ross, who was a general in the Confederate States of America in the Civil War. Uh, he was no young. He was younger than I was as a general in the Civil War. Just to give you guys an example here. But decades later, he, be, he then became uh, the governor of Texas, and instead of running again for election, even at the urging of the state, he chose instead to run Texas AMC, which had sort of become at that point a correctional school for juvenile delinquents. I mean, Texas AM in the late 1880s in a really bad way. You had no water, no electricity, no plumbing. Students lived on tents in the quad. They ran amok, and because of how bleak the Brazos Valley was back then, wild wolves would occasionally attack students. Uh, we're, we're talking about this kind of frontier wilderness here. Uh, so people really don't understand. That's where, that's how dire a situation a and was in uh, in the 1880s. 1890s, Sol Ross comes in, turns it into a strict military prep school because military service is what the man knew. He fought in, I believe he started his military career in the Mexican War uh, and ended up, you know, obviously uh, was a general in the Civil War. And yes, it was for the Confederacy. You can judge that as you will, but uh, the man was born and raised, I believe, in Mississippi. So what did you expect? But he, and it's the reason his statue is uh, at the center of school grounds today. Yes, he did fight for the Confederacy, but the statue is that of an older um, 
Sol Ross when he was the president of the university. It is true that he was a Confederate general. It is true, or likely true anyway, that he probably committed war crimes. But without Lawrence Sullivan Ross, there is no Texas A&M. So it is an innate part of our history that we have to come to terms with. You know, it's, I personally support the statue being there, but I understand the people who would rather move it to the historic library. And I'm okay with that, provided that, I think a very fair thing to do would be to add more context to the statue. But there is simply no Texas A&M without Governor Ross. Without Sol Ross, it simply does not exist. And that's, you know, it's, again, it's something we as a fan base have to come to terms with. I personally don't mind it. The electric guys are finally taking that down. That's so nice. But yeah, yeah, I'm okay with it. It's part of our history. It's who we are. You know, I don't condone, obviously, slavery. I don't condone racism. But I don't want to run from it either. I don't want to cancel our history. Because then, you know, it becomes reductive. Oh, I forgot to turn the fan off. Stand by. Need to do that. All right, so we're going to go do egg whites. And I'm going to check how many followers we have. And if we've gotten 30 new ones, then y'all will get a car wash stream, provided that the electric guys are gone. Because I kind of don't want to do that with them there. They're going to be in and around while we'd be washing. And water and electricity tend not to mix very well. Hey, LT, thank you for the gifted sub. That's very kind of you. So we're going to head inside. Is it Q&A time? Just about. I'm going to do clap push-ups and got to do handstand push-ups first. But yeah, we'll do Q&A pretty shortly after that. But yeah, so as far as as far as college game day is concerned, yeah, I saw him against Alabama. Was a really, really great game. We didn't win, but we put up a really good fight. I think we lost by 10 that game, but it was never out of the question that we could come back and win it. It was one of those games where, you know, like some of the things Johnny Manziel did on the field were incredible. Unfortunately, I don't care for Mr. Manziel in terms of the change in attitude he brought to a and uh, Frankly, Johnny Manziel only came to Texas A&M because he didn't want to go to, or because he didn't get a second look from Matt Brown at Texas, which I think most fans, even of the Longhorns, would admit was a, a recruiting mistake. Uh, but Johnny Manziel was a, you know, a rich boy, uh, born and raised to a wealthy family, and frankly, he wasn't raised right. I don't think anyone would say that he was based on the poor decision making uh, he made with his personal life during the years where he played at a and and then played uh, with the Cleveland Browns. Is it okay to masturbate at the age of 18? Generally concerned about it? Absolutely okay. It's uh, quite natural and healthy. Um, <laughs> good to see you, FedEx Ninja. Thank you. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, we may, I'll try and do the car wash stream. It depends on how late the electric guys stay here. But uh, to put it bluntly, yeah, no. Uh, this is, I, I believe, I believe that's a, a completely normal human healthy activity. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing shameful about it. I think religion in general has a bad message on it because what is to be concerned about? I, look, I'd rather y'all don't quite say that on the stream. Save the particularly NSFW stuff for private sessions in Discord, okay? Uh, we have an NSFW channel in there to ask those questions just because, you know, I don't, I don't, there is a fine line I have to do here. Um, so this is for the, let me take my socks off. This is for the subscribers, uh, for the sub donations. Thank you very much, particularly to LT and to PSI. Y'all are the real ones. We'll do some clap push-ups. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Seems too late. Yeah, I will. I'll be blunt. I, you know, started. Usually, when you, you know, you hit puberty, you you begin to try things of that nature. That's a bit of an awkward question, but yeah. Yeah. Back to the mind later, Ag. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you, my man. That's totally okay. Um. If uh. Uh, it, why don't you, yeah, it's, it's really Metal Machine, actually, who is concentrated essence of horny normally, actually has a really good take. It is ultimately up to you and your own belief system to decide whether or not it's wrong. Uh, and if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. And a little rush reference there for you. But, uh, let me check out my channel real quick. Let's see how many people we got. Followed now, 282. Okay, yeah. So I don't think we're doing a car wash stream today, but y'all are gonna get some heads, uh, uh, some head stand, handstand push-ups. I'm very thirsty, but you do have to be careful. Yeah, uh, I appreciate that. You know, I'm, I'm really. Uh, if you are under the age of 18 and you are on this uh, channel, just uh, keep that to yourself. I don't condone this sort of thing nothing all right nothing you see on this twitch stream and this is always going to be the case nothing you see on this twitch stream is something you couldn't see a guy at the beach doing so under those auspices i believe we're okay um obviously for any private sessions or anything like that you have to be over the age of 18. that is non-negotiable and i will never change that i i don't condone um screwing around all right, let's go. Handstand push-ups. Oh, these are always really hard after a push day. Fuck. Ah, I owe you more than three. I'm gonna try again. I think it would be mature. Mature would be fair for these shorts. Did you? Yeah, I, I set my channel to 18 plus. That's the other thing. My channel is uh, 18 plus. So, you know, I, I really try to do my best, uh, you know, to cover my ass on that one. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go there. I just don't want to go there. Obviously, I don't think that's, uh, you know, rare. You're welcome to stick around for the streams if you are under the age of 18, but don't go anywhere sexual with it because I, I, I will refuse to cross that bridge under no circumstances. So, you know, I, 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 there's only so much I can do there as the creator. Um, that being said, if you're over 18, I do private streams uh, for donos or for uh, recruiters. So keep that in mind. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Nope, that's all I got today. I'm out of gas. Sorry, guys. All right, let's move over. Ah, PSI's back. Yay. Uh, let's move over and first things first, egg white chaser. We'll get some protein on. We'll do our normal thing. I may actually cook myself a little, uh, little burger. I got me a uh, villainous metal machine. In charge of babysitting. You guys, come on now. Y'all funny. Ooh, I could show y'all my, uh, woo! Yeah, it's fermenting. I could show y'all my, uh, my red wine. Speaking of, uh, 18 plus topics, I am making my own alcohol. No, I'm, uh, I think the hardest part of the workout's over. Technically, or to, to, to be, uh, honest here, I actually really need to use the bathroom, but, uh, my roommate is in there, so. What can I do? Kind of, kind of stuck on that one. Uh, as far as mic issues are concerned, those are gonna get better as time goes along. Ooh, fuck! Hmm. Put a hole there. I'm gonna have to fix 
that. First things first, cue the Rocky music. Oh yes, they're taking that fucking cable down. Okay, so yeah, no, this is awful. But um, the electric guys are taking down a cable that was going. If you go back and look at some of my older streams, you can see it. It's it goes through a couple of trees on its way across my yard, and it's just it's unsafe. So I'm really happy that they're doing that. Shout out Dominion Energy, you finally got around to it. Best part is they're doing it for free. And this is actually a little bit more than eight ounces because I had to water and fill out the rest. Never waste anything, always important. Waste, not, want, not. Cheers. One, two, three. Awful. Yuck. So I'll get a creatine on. But, so future streams, I you know, we didn't hit the uh, follower goal for uh, we didn't hit the follower goal for a uh, car wash stream today, so that's not happening. Sorry guys. Uh, I appreciate all the new followers though, and maybe, maybe I'll make a car wash stream happen for I don't know, maybe when we hit 500, I could do that. I'll think about I'll think about that one. I'm not committing to anything today, or at least not this very moment. What I really need to do is take a piss, but my roommate is hogging up the bathroom this morning, so I'm gonna have to continue to hold on that one for a little while. And that's one scoop of peanut protein, two scoop of peanut protein, three scoop of peanut protein, four scoop of peanut protein. Put that right there. Coffee and pills up the top. And I do occasionally, oh, fucking hell, man. Everywhere. Fuck. Well, that's not ideal. That is highly unfortunate. All right, well, uh, part of the mess I'm going to have to clean up now. Dang it. I did not want to do that. Sorry guys, I gotta clean this up though, this is an absolute mess. Peanut butter powder just went everywhere. Crap. Alright. Countertop is clean. Absolutely, oh god, it's all over the floors. I guess I'm gonna have to mop up now. I'll paper towel enough of it for now, just to... Uh, get it fixed up in the short term, but that's that's poor. That's not gone well. Sorry guys, stand by. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Damn it. Oh well. You know, it happens. Everybody spills now and then. Um, private car wash stream? You're a boy. Can't you just pee in the sink? Uh, I'd rather not. Mostly because there are dishes in there and my roommate was supposed to fucking do them and hasn't. I clean the bathroom. That was the deal. I clean the bathroom if she cleans the kitchen. And she still has fully yet to do that. She'll do it. I know she will. But... Uh, that was... And I did clean the bathroom. That toilet was awful, and I had to do it. But I did do it. Okay. 
mess is cleaned up enough. Let's put the lid on and then fill this up and then we'll drink protein. Use the bathroom, hopefully, because it sounds like she might be out of there. Alright, yeah, she just said she's out. Shake, shake. Oh, you guys can't see me. Where's the fun in that? Shake, 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 shake. Mm. Man, I love the way that tastes. Chocolate protein powder and peanut butter, or sorry, peanut protein powder um, is a it's a winning combination. It's like a Reese's cup uh, drink. I guess I don't have to throw these in the laundry. That booty though, oh, I appreciate that. Let me finish drinking this up. work too. Nah, y'all gotta, if, again, I, I'm not, not going any more uh, NSFW on stream with it. I'm, sh I'm just shaking a bottle. Anything else you notice is on you. Now, if y'all want that, we can talk more for private dono streams. They already have another follow. Let's go Marius Irby 17. Welcome. Or is that Marcus Irby? Marius, Marcus, something like that. Mm. Welcome for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's always good to have new people show up. So today, it uh, looks like we are at 283 followers. So insert 28 to 3 joke here. I would mock the Atlanta Falcons, but that same year, uh, or rather that following year, we blew a 44 to 10 lead in 20 minutes. So. Texas A&M football is excruciatingly painful to watch. down in my diet journal yes I do believe in writing everything you eat down if you really want to cut and you want to cut effectively or even just diet effectively it's it's annoying but it's worth it so earlier we had a glass of milk that was 150 calories it was only eight ounces so 150 calories eight grams of fat eight grams of protein and 15 grams of carbs then we just had protein powder which is 380 calories because I used water and not milk, uh, 64 grams of protein, 7 grams of fat, and 16 grams of carbohydrates. And then we had egg whites, which is 125 calories, 26 grams of protein, half a gram of fat, one gram of carbs. Egg whites are really good for you. They they're pure protein. It sucks. Uh, they taste atrocious. But of course, you don't have to drink them raw like I do. I do that because I like, I know some of y'all like watching me do sh shit that I don't like to do. But uh, so we're at a total of 275 plus 380 is 580 plus 75 is 655 calories and a total of 98 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're already almost at 100 grams of protein. We haven't even hit 1,000 calories. That's generally a good sign. So I think later I'm going to make probably a Beyond Burger patty because i got a couple of those sitting in my freezer. They're not bad. They're not beef, but they're also not bad. If you can get – I'll put it this way. And this is how I've always felt about plant-based meat uh, or alternative meats. I am absolutely all for uh, the environmental aspect of it, reducing my carbon footprint. The problem is – they are not cost effective with cheaper cuts of uh, beef or pork, especially when you look at the nutrition value. Um, the macros on 
Beyond Burgers are about the same as maybe 80% beef, so they're not terrible, but they also do have more fat than you would think plant protein would. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit of a, a give and take there. So we're gonna head to the office uh, today because today is Friday and it is 9.59, which means the stock market is open. And I love talking about stocks. It's one of my other hobbies, right? I don't just sit here and be a himbo all day and lift. Uh, for some of y'all who have been here longer, I, I, would, I would think when y'all know my shenanigans, y'all would say that's accurate. Actually, I should tell you what, I gotta piss first. Stand by. No, you guys aren't seeing this. the seat stays up. Wash my hands. Um, ooh, uh, somebody, I'm sure y'all, there's probably some of y'all asked about supplements before. Um, so I'll go ahead and talk about that. I don't believe in too many supplements. I like protein powder. It is no different functionally than eating a piece of cheese or cottage cheese or whey or whatever um, it's just a much more convenient form of it so protein powder is the same as protein as far as i'm concerned um, you know don't try and get every single gram of protein from protein powder but in general it's okay uh, creatine has been proven to be it is a not it's not steroids creatine is completely legal creatine is completely natural and it's healthy i prefer five grams of it a day and then i don't do creatine loading not typically um, if I have not had any fatty fish for a while, I will occasionally just do one fish oil pill. Oftentimes if I'm feeling sore, I'll go for a little bit of mag citrate uh, because magnesium in general is kind of difficult for your body to absorb. In fact, I'll knock one down right now because I am feeling a little bit sore. After yesterday's leg day and today, repping 275 like that, I think I could use one. Um, and then on days where I'm trapped in the office all day and I haven't been able to get any vitamin D, that's the other one. I used to live in Texas, so getting vitamin D was extremely easy because it's very sunny. South Carolina is quite warm, but it's actually a lot cloudier than people would think. It can get sunny, but it isn't nearly as sunny as, say, California. So we're going to just... Hmm. One other great thing about South Carolina is... Uh, the tap water quality here is excellent. Always has been. So we're going to move into the office. I'm going to turn on our computer. I'm going to turn off our phone. And is it Twitch? Turn off the Wi Fi so that way the quality of the stream continues to be high. Speaking of, uh, how has the stream quality been today? I think it's been pretty good. It says zero drop, uh, 87 dropped frames out of two hours, which is like, you know, tens of thousands of frames total. So it's pretty good uh, from what I can tell. So we're going to get on our Wi Fi, which I have a funny name for, but um, so we're going to go to Twitch channel and then we're going to look at the stock market. So, ooh, oh no. Wow, um, the S&P is down 1.4%, it sounds like. The electric guys are, oh, this is pretty neat. Check this out. The electric guys are uh, taking that utility post down. That is fantastic. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I've been hoping they would do that for so long. Fuck yeah. That thing was dangerous. It was a live electrical wire that was going through two different giant trees. You know, you know, you end up having a, a critter bite down or cut on that. You get a spark. You could, you could light the entire fucking yard on fire. It was a fire hazard. 
Um, you already know why the stock market is dropping. I believe I do. Uh, I believe the inflation uh, report from the U.S. government turned out to be a bit higher than expected. I believe they were expecting 8.1%. It came at 83 So as a result, uh, it's looking like the Federal Reserve is going to continue to increase interest rates, which, of course, puts a stop on the economy. Railroad workers, I thought they had averted the strike. Did the, did the deal fall through? Shit. Today, did the deal fall through? I thought the deal had fallen through. Um, recent quotes, Yahoo Finance. I like that because it, it's a good way to see everything I have at a glance. Wow. Everything is blood red today. Oh my gosh, I thought the deal had gone through. Yeah, um, a railroad strike is going to do major damage to the economy. Uh, and the truth is, the railroad companies need to fucking pay your engineers, fucking give them the sick time they want. Here's the simple truth, y'all. No amount of trucking will replace rail. Rail is a substantially more efficient technology for moving gold. I'll explain the. I'll explain that. No, my roommate is an Eagles fan and a Gamecocks fan, which explains the decor in the back. Um, I am a Texas A&M fan, and I couldn't give a shit about the NFL because um, I was I was born in Virginia, so I was born a fan of the team formerly known as the Washington Redskins. But Dan Snyder is such an evil man that I cannot, in good faith, support that team. I can't do it. They're now called the Commanders, which is like congratulations. You found the most generic name possible. Uh, while I'm standing with the workers, I do believe uh, the workers deserve the time off. I think, quite frankly, the government should force the railroad companies to give in to the workers' demands and avert the strike, because the strike is of national security importance. Um, quite frankly, I think the government should take the, the railroad companies behind the woodshed, give them a good fucking paddling, and tell them to give, give the engineers what they want, man. Don't fuck with railroad workers, all right? This is the lifeblood of our economy. People don't understand just how important freight rail is. Freight rail is more important than trucking, uh, especially in terms of efficiency, what gets goods from ports to inland cities. You know, if you live in a place like, say, St. Louis, Missouri, you might get a little bit through boats coming up the Mississippi, but the majority of your or Omaha or Kansas City or Dallas, the majority of your goods come from rail. Uh, so it's, it is of vital importance. The railroads are driving up inflation to save a little bit of money because they refuse to let them have time off. So I understand this from a capitalist perspective as well. Um, the railroad companies historically are what you would call dividend aristocrats. Uh, what this means is they continue, uh, they have a long record of producing higher and higher dividends uh, or the same or higher dividends and never cutting them for years on end. It's an extremely exclusive club of stocks. Good morning, Na. Always, always happy to see you. Um, it's an extremely uh, exclusive uh, group of stocks. I think there's only maybe in the... <laughs> no, I didn't auction off my shorts. I'm actually wearing them again today, which uh, they're going to need some laundry after this. They are. Whew. But I'm going to probably take a shower after this. Anyhow, uh, with regards to the railroads, so as dividend aristocrat stocks... Um, you know, it's an extremely exclusive club to get into. And because of that, you know, they don't want to cut dividends. But to cut, uh, you know, to not cut dividends, you know, they have to find ways to cut costs. Because otherwise, you know, it's going to eat into operating cash. And obviously, you don't want to do that because that's a sign of an unhealthy uh, ecosystem. Of course, you've had issues with ports. You've had issues with clientele. You've had issues hiring people. Uh, a large part of this, and I, I am no hard right Republican, is that a lot of people over the pandemic have chosen uh, to work less or to give up working in general because they can get easy money from the government. And I oppose that. Uh, but on the other hand, the railroad workers are absolutely essential to the functioning of the U.S. economy. So uh, my personal advice is the government should force the strike to end by forcing the companies to give the workers what they want. I think that's the right way to go, um, frankly. 
and if the companies want to cry about it, then we can always threaten them with bringing back Conrail. Yeah. Union Pacific, stop being a little bitch. Give the workers what they want, okay? Don't fuck with the railroad workers. I mean, I'll put it to you this way. The railroad workers are so key. They're so important to our uh, functioning economy that they opted out of Social Security in 1934, and the Roosevelt administration said, okay, here you go. You can have your own pension system. That's how much influence railroad workers have had and will continue to have in this country. Uh, trains, they do go fast in other countries. They certainly do not here. But freight rail is an extremely important thing, and unfortunately it's currently something of an oligopoly because of, uh, well, because of a lot of regulatory issues and a lot of uh, land issues as well. I don't think I can quite do a shower stream yet. I'm not, I'm not quite comfortable with that one. Um, but the closer I get to financial independence, the more we can visit things of that nature. So we're at 18 people today. That's wonderful. 283 followers. So we've, we've gained four. That's good. Um, tell me your shorts, and then you can wash your shorts and yourself at the same time. <laughs> uh, do it, not tell me. No, I'm not doing a shower stream today, guys. Look, these shorts are, again, a big step for me in terms of what I'm okay, uh, what, I, what I'm comfortable with here. It, it's, I, I, I know why you guys like them, and I'm okay with that, but it's definitely still, I'm, I'm feeling out new ground. You know, I've been streaming, actually, believe it or not, since 2019, but I only now recently have started to embrace the, hey, I'm in pretty good shape, you know, why not, why not? turn that into something I can have fun with on stream. I've only embraced that recently. Um, Two-day leftovers. I know you said you had questions and jumping jacks, so uh, fire away with regards to that. Um, so would you do a shower as a private stream in shorts? Uh, let me think about that one. I'm not quite sure I would. I might. Um, let me think that one over. Ask me that in the Discord channel. I'm not I'm not sure on that one yet. Send me the link to the private shower stream. If y'all like it, uh, head in the Discord. All right. So, Two Day Leftover says, Today is neither Sunday nor Wednesday. Tomorrow is not Sunday or Wednesday. Yesterday was not Friday. Monday was not the day before yesterday. Neither was Sunday. Which of the week is today? Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, or Sunday, if one of the statements is false. Okay. So, all right. So, w only one of the statements is false. So, that means yesterday could be Friday. It means Monday could be the day before yet. Where are you getting these questions? That's a great question. It's a good uh, brain teaser. But today, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you. That's a, that's a good question to think about. It's going to take me a minute. Let me think about this. Um, I think the answer is Saturday, I believe, if one of the statements is false. Give the people what they want. I, I, I try to, okay? Uh, nope, okay, well then Jumping Jacks it is. A Sunday, okay. Uh, LT, as far as the shower stream is concerned, again, let's... You guys, uh, for those of you who want that, join my Discord, and I'm not doing 200 jumping jacks for one question. Stop being greedy. Um, oh, these need to go back in here. Sorry. Uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure how I feel about a shower stream yet. So ask me about that in the Discord channel. For those of you who don't have the Discord link, look below. It's in the About section, uh, as well as donations. If you really like what I do and you want to support the channel, uh, all the money I, I take in is going to go back into improving the stream. So far, y'all already uh, helped me get a new laptop, for, and you know that's going to continue to improve the stream there. Going to probably get a new mic, because I know there's a little bit of echo in the garage, some insulation for the garage, so it sounds a little bit better. Um, probably going to get new dumbbells soon, new dumbbell caps. It's just I've been so busy the last couple weeks, it's just been very hard for me to sit down, research, and order the right uh, components. Twitch ruins all the fun. I will give the people what Twitch will allow, and then for the private streams, I'd go a little bit further than that. So, oh, thank you, Today, for uh, popping out the Discord. I need to work on the. Uh, I need to work on the perms for Mubot. Actually, 
Two day. Would you like to be mod? You've been here for so long. I feel like I should give you mod. Let me let me do jumping jacks. What do you think about that? Legs are really stiff yesterday from yesterday's leg day stream. Um, and I was watching the VOD yesterday uh, after the stream ended. I was not going deep enough on those squats. So shame on me for that. I need to crack the whip on myself a little bit harder there. I was getting to maybe, right, I was getting to maybe here. This is not deep enough. I want to be at the crease of the hips. I want to be here. Not here, but here. Crease of the hips at the top of the kneecaps. Crease of the hips at the top of the kneecaps. Crease of the hips, the top of the kneecaps. And lo, he said, crease of the hips. V at the top of the kneecaps. And if y'all know this reference, okay, uh, I'm proud of you. That's from uh, Alan Thrall. He's funny as hell. I love Alan Thrall. How many jumping jacks have I missed? Uh, I think like 20, so stick around. And CSY, hey, can we all give a little bit of love to CSY? Our good buddy from the land down under, he has been uh, quite busy recently. Um, obviously, I know uh, the passing of Queen Elizabeth II uh, has made life a little bit tougher for you, so my condolences on that one. I know, uh, obviously, as an American, it's not really any of my business. I have no interest uh, in the royal family, but I know it means a lot to you. I know it means a lot to my good friend who is um, British, uh, so I, you know, I, I take, I, I, I care only because I have friends that care. So that's, that's how I go with on that one. But yeah, uh, I will say Queen Elizabeth, I don't, again, as an American, I'm naturally wired against the concept of monarchy. I don't support it. I believe republicanism is a better form of government. But I recognize simultaneously that Queen Elizabeth II has been a truly British icon uh, of the modern era in ways that very few other individuals have. You know, maybe the Beatles would be, you know, the only other example I'd put in true, like, when you think of British culture, you, you think of Queen Elizabeth as, you know, a, as, a, as a sort of a, a, a keystone of that. I'd put, you know, the Beatles, uh, I'd put probably tea and crumpets, you know, that sort of thing, right? That, that's, like, when you think of the United Kingdom, you know, you think of that, you think of uh, you know, the, Lon the Tower of London, you think of, uh, you know, the Parliament building, Big Ben, all, all of that uh, iconography. You know, to a lesser extent, you think of Scotch whiskey because Scotland is absolutely part of Britain. Um, and I just have a soft spot for Scotch whiskey. I think it's just really good. Um, anyway, here we go. Let's, the professor was driving to his out-of-town laboratory at a consistent speed, not faster than 90 kilometers an hour. Uh, Total side note here, uh, as an American, I don't understand why we don't use uh, the metric system. I can actually give you guys a good reason why not switching to metric is hurting the United States taxpayer, if you're interested. That's a bit dry, though, so let's carry on. At one moment, the meter showed 16,961 kilometers a mileage. I'm assuming you mean the odometer there. Um, also, funny because you said kilometers of mileage. Wouldn't it mean, would it be kilometers of distance? I got I got a pick at you for that one. Uh, we got we got kilometers of mileage in chat. Kilometers of mileage. I, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just laugh at that one. Um, in exactly two hours, the number on the meter once again showed a number that reads the same in both directions. At what speed was the professor driving? Well, if it's the same in both directions, the answer is he was driving at zero miles an hour or zero kph. He, he was parked. He was stuck in traffic, perhaps, if, I don't know. Sounds like he was maybe in, I don't know, uh, you know, Mumbai at 5 p.m. See, I don't know why you guys call it mileage, though. You shouldn't, because you're, it's, why would you call it mileage if you're not measuring it in miles? That seems odd. Although, in fairness, we call fuel, automotive fuel, we call it gas when it's a liquid. Um, although it's short for gasoline, so I don't, we all have our language foibles. Um, I don't think petrol is a good term for it either. 
Uh, benzene is probably the most accurate. Uh, it's, I think the Italians call it, it's benzina. Uh, I think that's a good, I, I think we should adopt that. I think the Italians have it right. Um, 55? Okay, well then I'll, I'll do some jumping jacks. But uh, before we go there, let me explain to the viewers, and I'm probably going to, here, here we go, guys. Here's how I chase off everyone that has ever followed me. Let's talk about, we'll get to soccer versus football. Um, let's talk about the metric system in the United States. For those of you who do not believe the United States should move to metric, there are some very good reasons why we shouldn't because base 12 does have its advantages when you're talking about fractions. For instance, inches are really nice, convenient units in carpentry. But here's an example of how not switching to metric hurts the United States taxpayer. And I can tell you this firsthand. Uh, here's two examples, actually. The first is we have had space uh, spacecraft not line up with the International Space Station because we, de we designed things. The Hubble had this issue. We designed things in Imperial and try to convert them to metric. The problem is when you convert them, you're going to have a little bit of a tolerance issue. You have to convert very precisely for things like space. Another example is nuclear. Uh, this happened when we tried to make uh, the MOX project, the mixed oxide project here in South Carolina. Um, we originally, the original design was done in metric for reasons that make no sense to me. It was converted to imperial and there were tolerancing issues everywhere. Um, why do I sound so low compared to other streams? Oh, I wasn't aware. Uh, I changed it because I thought that might improve the quality. Let me turn it up. There you go. That should be a little bit better. Um, if not at all, if it's still low, just let me know. Please, by the way, y'all, I always appreciate the people who uh, let me know there's an issue with video or audio. It's it's still something I'm working on. Okay, so I think 35 is going to be about right. Um, soccer versus sport. Um, I personally, you can call it. Here's the way I put it. If you're in the United States and you're talking football, it is the sport with the ball that has a length of one foot. That's where the term football comes from, by the way, uh, for American football. Uh, and in addition, um, soccer, the, the term soccer, I believe, comes from associated league football. Um, how do you control the urges during puberty? Young Phoenix, please... Don't ask me that question here. Uh, go to the Discord and ask that, okay? Um, and I'll go ahead and post the Discord link here. Uh, willpower is probably the best answer, though. Um, but as far as soccer is concerned, I don't have a lot of respect for soccer players that are men. And here's why. Male soccer players, in general, are pansies. They flop. And they try to act, like if you push a male soccer player, like you push Ronaldo, he acts like he's been shot, right? He acts like he's been literally picked off by a sniper uh, with a Barrett, you know, from 500 meters. Some crazy shit like that. Uh, I can't stand that. It's the problem I have with the, uh, the NBA as well. I don't like the people who flop in basketball. <clears throat> LeBron. I respect, you know, I respect the athleticism of someone like LeBron or Ronaldo, but being a little bitch is something I can't stand. So don't be a little bitch. Don't be what we used to say in high school. We called them the grass fairies. That's what we called the soccer players. Um, so as far as the name's concerned, if you're out of the United States, call it football. But if you call it, f you know, or call it football, you know, if you call it football, people are going to go with that. As far as Fahrenheit or Celsius con is concerned, um, the true correct answer is Kelvin because that's scientific. But nobody likes Kelvin because nobody... It's a much more abstract unit, right? Typically, you're, you're going to see temperatures around 280 to 300 Kelvin for, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, we have big, big sub bum. Oh, CSY, welcome back. Always good to see you, my guy. You kick all the ass. Um, actually, I believe I owe you guys some jumping jacks, so we're going to do that before we go any further. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm... I'm I, Fahrenheit versus Celsius, I can I can kind of go either way on that one. Uh, there's benefits and drawbacks to each. I personally don't think uh, you can really tell me the difference 
between one degree Fahrenheit, but you kind of can with one degree Celsius because it's 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. It, like if you if you are able to tell me the difference between 72 and 73 degree room, uh, you're better at that than I am. <laughs> But it's easier to tell the difference between 20 degree room and 21 degree room, for instance. But on the other hand, Fahrenheit's very convenient in the sense of zero is very cold, 100 is hot. So it's, you know, it's, it's very nice in terms of, for weather anyway, I can see the benefit in uh, Fahrenheit. But for scientific applications, I tend to go with metric, or not metric, um, Celsius. So the true answer is Kelvin. Kelvin's the, the best answer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, uh, I need to disable the alerts. How are you doing jumping jacks? Yeah, no, I'll do more. I'm sorry. Let me, let's just wait for those to go through. Thank you very much for the gift sub. CSY is the goat of this this channel. I love CSY so much. He's a great person. Um, should have had a sub goal and not a follower goal. No kidding. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can disable alerts real quick. Yeah. No. I, I need to. I need to make the alert box smaller. Actually, you know what? I can do that right now. I think. Scenes. Oh no, I can't. Shoot. Um. Now I'm gonna have to do that after. Let's see. Can I disable alerts from here? Settings. Content. I'll just wait for the. No, I'll just wait for the. Uh, I'll wait for the alerts to end. I'm sorry. I'll. Uh, I need to fix that at the end of the channel. So. Just wait. We'll, we'll do jumping jacks again. Uh, the elevator can carry no more than six adults or no more than nine children. This is the maximum number of children that can get into the elevator with two adults. Well, we don't know how... I don't think that's a question that's possible to answer based on the fact that we don't know what the adults or children weigh. Um, oh, no, I guess you could. Uh, an adult is... If it's six adults are equal to nine children, that means one adult is equal to 1.5 children. So if we have two adults, it's equal to three children. In other words, six children is the answer. But no, I'll, I'll wait for the uh, I'll wait for the sub bomb to subside. Uh, I'll move over to one one side of the channel. Sorry about that, y'all. I need to change that. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me a few of the technical issues. Uh, I'm still I'm still learning how to use Twitch properly, how to use OBS properly, and so there's there's a little bit for me to learn. Um, yeah, the answer is six, so I got that one right. But today I'm gonna I owe you guys better jumping jacks too. So we're gonna we're gonna wait for just a moment. We're gonna wait for that to subs uh, subside. Um, just just stand by. Anywho, uh, so we talked about soccer versus football. It's nice to see them pop up when you do things. It means they appreciate it. I do. You're so good at math. I'm an engineer. I mean, I would certainly hope I'd be good at math. That would be... It'd be kind of bad if I wasn't. Um, as far as... We talked about soccer versus f football. Fahrenheit versus Celsius. I do, I do strongly wish we would use uh, SI. Okay. I think that was the end of the sub bomb. So nobody, nobody subbed to me for just a moment. <laughs> Obviously, you can continue to do so, but uh, you know, wait until I'm done. Wait until I'm done the jumping jacks. So I know a lot of people are here for that. So. Give me all a few extras, cause oh, oh. definitely, uh... <laughs> definitely not. Uh fair to do jumping jacks while the sub alerts are on that's not fair to you guys um so let's check back on the stock market real quick yeah everything is blood red today s and is down a percent let me check uh oh hello interesting president biden is outlining a cryptocurrency regulation plan thanks to increased lobbying efforts from companies like coinbase that's interesting definitely worth keeping an eye on um 
<laughs> the only green stock I have on my radar right now is actually Rio Tinto. So there you go. Um, Want to join your Discord? Just curious what you usually do there. It's a more intimate environment. Uh, let me go ahead and type. There we go. Y'all should be able to see that. Um, there's an announcement there. Uh, I our Discord. The Discord is brand new. For those of you who don't know, the Discord is uh, it's a place for you guys. It's a little bit more intimate than the streams. Uh, I do occasionally, uh, you know, do private streams in there. It's a good place to ask questions about that. It's a good place to get advice for when I'm not streaming. So yeah, if you guys want links to Discord, there you go. Um, so can you guys see the announcement from Mubot there? I don't know if you can. If you can't, uh, that's something I guess I'll have to fix. So I apologize for that. But a uh, little, little more about me for the people who are new here. Howdy. My name's uh, Beer Battered Aggie Syndrome. I'm a mechanical engineer, works in the nuclear industry, and uh, I do lifting weight streams. Uh, as you can see, I have done a little bit of cutting weight recently. I started at 229 pounds and 19.6% body fat, currently at 208.8 pounds and 14.45% body fat. The goal is to get to 12% before Thanksgiving because cutting, uh, cutting weight through Thanksgiving and Christmas is fucking miserable. Don't want to do that. Um, Okay, so y'all can see Mubot. Awesome. That's good to know. Uh, as far as everything else is concerned, um, I do private streams for uh, those who want to see something a little bit more risque. Uh, DM me in that uh, in the Discord server or um, or Whisper on Twitch. Generally speaking, I prefer to do that sort of thing on our Discord server, which you guys now have the links for. Uh, it's a great place to hang out, ask for advice, uh, talk, all sorts of things like that. I am enjoying the cut, though. Uh, it's hard being hungry all the time, but boy, howdy, can I see the results. It's really nice. Um, speaking of the results, why don't I get a little bit better lighting in here by opening up the window? It sounds like the electric guys are gone, which is really nice. Um, the goal today was to get to 300 followers, and if we or not 300, sorry, 30 new followers. If we were going to do that, uh, I would have gotten, uh, I would have done a uh, car wash stream for y'all, shirtless. But we did not hit that today. Uh, we were at only, uh, we only got the goal was 30 followers today. We got four, uh, so clearly have a little bit more work to do there, unfortunately. But um, do you have any other questions and answers uh, as far as stocks are concerned? So Zoe Mallory, your answer is right there. Um, looks like, ooh, I may be able to buy back my covered call on Volta stock. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. Um, everything else is stabled out. It's red, but it's not quite red enough for me to make too many actions. All right, uh, bombs away there, Mr. Two Day Leftover, good friend of mine. Um, I think we'll go for maybe another 15 minutes, then we're probably gonna call it a day. So as, a, as an aside, uh, I will not. I'm typically live at eight in the morning tomorrow. Excellent. Well, good, good, Zoe. Good to, good to know. Um, I appreciate that. Tell all your friends, by the way, if you guys want private streams, usually you do that for, uh, you know, I, I take donations for those. But if you guys recruit a certain number of people, um, and they have to tell me that you're the one that, you know, sh turn them on to the channel when they follow. If you recruit for me, you can get one on the house. So. Be aware of that, uh, and you know I don't. Here's the thing: due to what I do, uh, you know, for a, a living, I work in the nuclear industry. I have to keep a very light social media profile. In other words, um, you know, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, um, uh, Instagram, I don't have a lot of those accounts. So that's a really fertile ground, uh, you know, to, to build in a new audience. And here's the other thing, for those of you who want to see me do more NSFW stuff, uh, the closer I get 
to financial independence, which will happen in a couple of years, two years, because I make really good money uh, at this job, which is why I don't want to quit it yet. But the closer I get to financial independence, the more freedom I have to kind of go a little bit more the NSFW path. Uh, do I work in nuclear like in nuclear energy? I'm afraid not. Um, I work in the other part of the nuclear sector, sector, which should probably explain to you guys why I'm very hesitant to get more social media presence or uh, you know, go to NSFW because you better believe uh, three letter agencies are watching. So yeah, no, I'm not doing TikTok. It's Chinese owned, can't do it. Absolutely not. Um, I will probably, if I'm gonna do one of those, it'll probably be Insta. Uh, I really don't like Twitter, uh, just in general. I think it's, I think Twitter was one of the worst inventions of humanity, just my opinion. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, let me go and answer two days question. A man has 53 socks in his drawer, 21 identical blue, 15 identical black, and 17 identical red. Wait a minute, 36, okay, so that does add to 53. The lights are out and he's completely in the dark. How many socks must he take out to make 100% certain he has at least one pair of black socks? Well, obviously, if he took out all 53, he would certainly have at least one pair. But in theory, he could take out as many as 17 plus 15 plus uh, 2, or sorry, 21 plus 17 plus 2, uh, to get to the black socks. So that would be 21 plus 17 is 38. Uh, in theory, he could just get incredibly unlucky. It's statistically unlikely, but uh, to be 100% certain, 21 plus 17 is 38, plus two would be 40. So the answer is 40 there today. Um, and it, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Uh, I don't think it's the FBI, uh, quite frankly. I think it's probably uh, NSA. Could be FBI though, but look, I have no problem with that. Yeah, so I got 40. Awesome. Oh, I got that one right then. It's okay. Um, yeah, it, there's nothing There's nothing wrong uh, with that. It's a, it's a security thing. You know, if you work in the nuclear industry, particularly what I do in the nuclear industry, yeah, you know, they want to make sure there's no security risks here, right? Especially that if I were to do something NSFW, in the theory goes that you know it could be sent uh, or transmitted to an adversary and that adversary could attempt to blackmail me with it and that obviously presents a security risk so that's why I don't do um, full nudity right now I can't it's a national security thing and it's you know I, I will go slightly more NSFW on private streams because I think that's okay I think that's a reasonable line but I cannot go further with that, uh, and I refuse to until I reach financial independence. Even though there's nothing you, they can blackmail me with. Like, okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that? But it's it's annoying. Bad guy is playing Russian roulette with a six shooter revolver. He puts in one bullet, spins the chambers, and fires at you. Joe Bolt comes out, gives you the choice of whether or not he should spin the chambers again before firing a second time. Should he spin again? Okay, so. Um, if it's a six shooter revolver and there's one bullet, that means at first there is a, a one in six chance that a bullet will come out. He fires it once, that means uh, there is a one in five chance, right? There are five possible locations it could be in. However, you should ask to spin again because that means he could spin and land on the same chamber that already had nothing fired, which resets your odds from 1 in 5 down to 1 in 6. So the answer is yes, he should spin again. Good question. I like that. I like, I like, that, I like that Two Day gets angry when I answer the questions right. <laughs> That's always fun. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I don't, it is what it is. I love my country. I love my job and I love what I do. Uh, but I have to take certain security protocols seriously around that, which is, again, it's, it's why there is a limit to, you know, what you guys see on Twitch is only what you could see someone on the beach doing. I just happen to be really cut and really strong, uh, which makes it look better, I guess. Same situation, but two bullets are put in consecutive chambers. Should you tell the bad guy to spin the chambers again? Okay. 
Hey, Peach Milkers. All right. That's a fucking funny name right there. Um, although there is a great cream liqueur from Second City Distilling just over across the river in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, that is a peach cream liqueur, speaking of peach milkers, and it is delicious. Love it. In fact, I could even go get you the bottle. I have it sitting on the top of my shelf. But, um, okay, so same situation. Everybody loves my name. <laughs> Everybody, okay, so same situation, but two bullets are put in consecutive chambers. So initially, that means you have a one in three chance of getting shot. He spins and it misses, which means you now have a two in five chance of getting shot. So should you spin it again? Well, that would reset the odds to two and six. So I would think the answer is yes, you should spin again. Doesn't matter if the chambers are consecutive. I don't I don't think that plays a part. Um, I think we're gonna go for maybe five more minutes, and I'm gonna probably call it a day. You're so cut, man. Wish you could look like that one day. Stick around, join the Discord, and I will give you all ask questions about this. Part of what I love doing here is giving y'all advice. Uh, that's a huge part of this server for me the most gratifying thing is when i help people get in uh better shape two bullets you have two chances in six to get hit with a bullet for the first time yeah that's what i'm saying previous round was one of four empty chambers it leaves four positions the gun could now be in with only one in four followed by a bullet there are four leaving you no because there's still two bullets in there so it would be two and four followed by a bullet if there's two bullets in the gun and you fire one position off, that, that doesn't make sense. The best lilac. People have so many different uh, words for these down here. I've heard uh, Apollo's belt. I've heard lilac furrows. I've heard V-lines. But yeah, uh, that's from doing a lot of abs. I do abs every morning. Today was a holds day, so I do 60 seconds of plank, 60 seconds of uh, 6 inches, 60 seconds of side planks, 30 seconds per side. Uh, four, or sorry, 60 reps of crunches and 60 reps of sit-ups. Oh boy, cum gutters. That's a new one. Fancy lad, welcome. I uh, don't believe I've seen you here before. Welcome, first time chat. Happy to have you on board. Uh, and if you like what you see, please give a follow. You know, we've got donations below. We've got a Discord below. Come join this wonderful community. The more people we have show up, the more fun it's going to be. And in the long run, the better off uh, I can make the channel. So... Long term, we're going to have uh, a lot of, hopefully, a lot of people getting in better shape, following examples, and asking advice and improving each other. <sighs> Susan and Lisa decided to play tennis each other. They each bet one, they bet $1 on each game they played. Susan won three bets and Lisa won $5. How many games did they play? Well, a minimum of, a minimum of eight. They could have played more. Can't tell here, but I got a dead mosquito. These fuckers are bastards. I hate mosquitoes. Uh, I would follow, but I don't think you're wearing underwear. I will leave that to be judged by the eye. I personally believe that underwear, especially here in the very humid and very hot deep south, uh, is deeply uncomfortable to wear, so uh, I tend not to. Whether or not I am on any given day can be figured out by the viewers. Uh, what's your BFP? Uh, I don't know what BFP means, but 11. Oh, she had to win it back. I see. Free balling for the win. Okay. Um, jumping jacks it is then, so we'll start to do a couple back sets. And switch to side. Switch to front. That's 10. Switch to side. 20. Yeah, you can figure that one out on your own. Body fat percentage. Oh, uh, yes. So uh, I started uh, my cut cycle currently at 229 and 19.6%. I am now currently at 208.8 and 14.45%. The goal is 12% before Thanksgiving. Was that a way to get the 30 followers? No. Uh, I... Okay, I'll give up on it. 
I go commando be solely for one reason and one one reason only, and that is my own personal comfort. Okay? Always has been and always will be. Oh, wow, you're still streaming. Dude, uh, actually, I'm about to go offline. I'm pretty, I'm pretty beat. Um, and I could use the, uh, I could use the uh, time off. Oh, hey, fancy lad, thank you very much for the follow. All right, so that means we are now at 285 followers, I believe. How many is that? Yep, 285, awesome. Um, that was shocking my eyes. Yeah. If you guys want to, you know, hang out more, a little bit more intimate, uh, feel, I have the discord. It's right below. I'll go ahead and type it in chat for those of you who are interested. Um, I'm going to do, looks like today gave me one last question. This will be the last one of the day. Three bags, each containing two marbles. Bag A contains two white marbles. Bag B contains two black marbles. And bag C contains one white marble and one black marble. Um, you pick a random bag and take out one marble, which is white. What is the probability that the remaining marble from the same bag is also white? Okay. Um, so, uh, okay. So, obviously it's not bag B because you took out one marble, which is white, which means it could be either bag A or it could be bag C. So that means you have a total of four marbles that exist in the two bags it could potentially be. Uh, and you took out one white marble, which means there's three marbles left, which means it could be the white marble in bag A that you take out. It could be uh, the, no, it could be, no, I take that back. If you had to take out one, that means it could either be the white marble in bag A or the black marble in uh, bag C. So the probability is 50%. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I do have a PO box if y'all want to send gifts or uh, anything else my way. Don't send anything illegal, obviously, uh, through the mail. I don't think I should have to say that, but I'm going to sign off with a few more jumping jacks and then we're going we're gonna to call it a day. I'm pretty tired, y'all. Um, check out the Discord if y'all like this, if y'all want more. And, uh, you know, donations are always appreciated, subs are always appreciated, but most importantly right now is about growing the channel, so please tell all your friends, give some follows, the goal is a thousand followers by the end of the year, if we hit that I will play a game of truth or drink, where you can ask me any question and I will either tell the truth or I will drink, which is, uh, you know, you can ask me just about anything. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Zero, three, you know I have bag B. I had it right at first. Yep, yeah, well, shit. Uh, yeah, I, I overthought it. Okay, I think that's going to be it for me, y'all. Thank you. I just want to go ahead and say thank you very much. PSI Assault, thank you for the subs. LT, thank you for the subs. CSY, my main man, welcome back, and thank you for the subs. Thank you, everyone new who followed today. Uh, check out the Discord if you want more, if you want to hang out. Um, I will not be live at 8 a.m. tomorrow as I normally am. I will be in Columbia, South Carolina for the Gamecocks Bulldogs football game. I will be back at normal time on Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Okay? So we'll do a poll day then. Uh, or I may, be, I may try two-day leftovers uh, hard challenge workout that he sent me. I gotta figure out which one I can do with the equipment I have right now. Um, so we'll go there. Y'all have a great rest of your day too. Go out there, okay? Get fucking motivated, kick some ass, train well, eat well, sleep well, work out well, and become the best person you can be. Thanks, Gigum, and have a great day.